Hello, and welcome to another edition of the New Stack Demos. I'm your host, Heather Joslin, uh, Features Editor of TNS. And uh, today we're going to get a close look at SCORE, an open source tool created by Humanitech that can be used in platform engineering. Our guest today who will be showing us SCORE is Fernando Viaba, who's Senior Tech Evangelist at Humanitech. Hi, Fernando. Hello. And uh, we're pleased you're joining us. Uh, we're excited because uh, we at the New Stack uh, have been taking a deep dive into platform engineering of late. And uh, just to to sort of explain what that is, for those who may not know, uh, platform engineering is the process of creating a, a golden path of sorts for developers, helping them provide them with self-service environments that can... Uh, where they can order up uh, the infrastructure they need and focus on building and maintaining their apps. Um, Fernando, can you tell us a little bit about Humanitech and about SCORE and what you're going to be showing us today? Sure. I have a little presentation here just to show you. Right. So this is a tooling of an internal development platform. And what we're going to talk about here, we're just going to talk about platform orchestrator and the specifications. Humanitech as a platform orchestrator is what delivers dynamic configuration management, which is what I'm going to talk about right now over the next slides. And these are the problems that we're trying to solve for developers. We are essentially trying to solve the problem of high cognitive load. And this is usually brought about by inconsistency of configuration between environments, You know, having to manage your Kubernetes manifest files across different environments and make sure they're all like consistent and the same and there is no drift and also infrastructure management, so that your developers don't need to manage infrastructure themselves or do ticket ops. And for platform engineering, it's all about maintaining compliance and consistency and being able to deliver a platform versus you know, doing ticketing and keep the infrastructure configuration sprawl to a minimum. And this, what I just mentioned right now, is what it, we usually refer to infrastructure-centric development, which is what when developers are too invested in the platforms and truly needed to run the workloads, and and not in actually development and and just delivering workloads, which is basically what we aim to to solve here with workload-centric development. So, where workload-centric development, the workload creates the value. And a workload specification defines it. An infrastructure is a byproduct. Developers just need to specify what they need. And Humanitech fetches all the, the configuration and also is in charge of provisioning all the infrastructure for you, the, the resources. So what is Humanitech? Humanitech for developers enables the deployment of a workload to all environments with dependent resources using a single workload specification file. And that is important because that is versus having to do uh, Terraform, ClickOps, Kubernetes manifest files. You just create a simple workload specification with score outlining what you need, and then Humanitech goes and generates everything for you. And for platform engineers, Humanitech means enabling the ability to configure how and where resources and workloads are provisioned in a self-service manner. Again, keeping with compliance and keeping things consistent across environments and even different clouds and whatever, or on-prem as well. So yeah, this is SCORE. It's a workload specification. It's a single source of truth for workload configuration. And this is how it looks. I'm not going to go into too much detail now. I will go into a little bit more detail during the demo. But as you can see here, you just basically define what your container looks like, what variables it needs, and then the resources that you need with that. And then the configuration is generated by, by the platform orchestrator at Humanitech. And yeah, uh, SCORE is, is uh, open source. Uh, we gladly accept contributors. We just, we just released it very, very recently. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah. So now we okay. see so now we see how SCORE works. Um, yes. Okay. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to share this link with you. This is basically a blog post that I published last week, and I'm going to follow through all these steps in order to do this demo. And this is good because that way you can just share it in the in the post and people can follow along and they can create a, a demo account into their, um, they can create a demo account into Humanitech and we'll do that. 
Okay, and we'll so, share, and we will share that in the in the in the post that accompanies this. Sure. So I'm skipping the first two steps because those are just setting up Humanitech. I'm going straight to creating an app, and an app in Humanitech usually would be set up by a platform engineer, but the app is where all your workloads live. And within the app, your workloads talk to each other or you know, you generate the resources there. So we start with that. And we go in here, copy that. And that means that the, um, the application was created. And now what we do, we go and create a value for the workload, which here, if you bear with me, we go into app settings and we're going to create a variable here. We're going to call it greeting name, call it Sebastian, the developer. Try. That's the description that we're going to give it. But yeah, this is basically a value that we're going to be using in our workload. And now we're going to create the workload specification right here. As you can see, we have created the workload specification specification here, and there's some configuration here. I'll just highlight this right here because this is where we're creating our placeholders. These placeholders are very important because it's what Humanitech uses in order to be able to interpolate this data based on context. So whatever mm -hmm. environment you are, you know the the Humanitech knows what configuration to generate for it, and it's also based on the resources that you are specifying here. In this case, we have a simple backend service with a Postgres database. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to go to deploy a workload to a development environment. And if you notice here, we are defaulting some, some values here, but these are not needed in this particular case. We just add that there for reference, uh, or if you want to translate score to a different platform, these will be used as a, as a, as a default value. But in reality, these are not needed for, for Humanitech. I mean, you can actually create it like this, and that will work as well. So I generated this. I created this uh, this workload, mm -hmm. and I just want to show a little bit what what happened there. So over here, you can see that this generated this delta, which is what applied to Humanitech. And as you can see here, the the um, the values got interpolated to a to a placeholder, and this is what tells Humanitech. You know what configuration to to get. Like here is just getting the username from the PSQL, and here is the password, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now if we go to yep. If we go to um, the output, we have here the um, the workload has been deployed, and he, this is the output of of the of the workload. Now just to show you that this. That you only need one workload specification for multiple for multiple environments. We're gonna go back into app details, and now we're gonna generate another. Um, we're gonna generate another environment. So over here, we are creating a new environment, an environment type called staging, and this we're gonna be using to um, to create. The, the new workload. Now in here, there may be a situation where you have variables that you want to have different for multiple environments. In this case, you can do an override. So here we can just change this. We can do an override for, for Sebastian, the developer, and we can call it Sebastian the stager, and then save that. And then when we do our deployment, Now we're going to do the deployment here. Now, as you can see, the only thing that changed here is that it says staging instead of uh, it says staging instead of development. Mm -hmm. So we're deploying that. We go here, and now it's deploying for staging, and the output should be shown here very quickly. I mean, it takes a a few seconds to do so, but 
well, one thing to bear in mind here, and this is the power of Humanitech, is that you have these placeholders and you have these resources that are being created on demand from a simple word of specification. And no matter what environment you deploy to, Humanitech will know what to create for that workload, like what output, what configuration output to use and what resource to use for that. So here, as you can see, this deployed successfully. Mm -hmm. And here you have the, um, the output for, for this workload. Of course, this is a very, very simple demo. Uh, we're going to be releasing more tutorials to do more complex stuff. But yeah, this is essentially the way Humanitate and score works. And so sorry, I'll... I know this was a very fast introduction. But, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fine. Um, so, so score lets you keep all your specifications in one YAML file. That's yes, or you only the only the, the the way it would work is that you have one word log specification, and then you can use this to translate to other specifications if you need to. But the thing to understand is that it's tightly scoped to a workload. Mm -hmm. So we we created this in order to workload centric deployments. So if you want to do a translation to something very complex in Kubernetes, maybe maybe score wouldn't be for you. But if he, if you're working as a workload centric way of deploying your applications, then score is perfect. Okay. Also, one last thing. If uh, there's anyone interested in trying SCORE or getting involved in the open source community, how would they do that? Uh, yes. Uh, I'll provide some links for you. They can contact us or they can just go to our uh, to our GitHub page and, for, um, I mean, and, and, and contribute there. Okay, great. And we'll include those in, in the, uh, the post that accompanies this video. Um, that's a wrap. Thank you to Fernando Villaba for... Um, for joining us today and telling us about SCORE. And thank you to all of you out there for watching today's demo. I'm Heather Joslin for the New Stack Demos, and we'll see you next time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.